Hey guys, we're hearing the speech of the delivering remark of my dad, President Joe Biden, about the war in Israel and in Ozma, aka Iran, I think. Could be Oz Hazma. Hamas. I should say. Sorry, mispronounced it. Anyway, let's hear the speech. Stand with Israel. Stand with Israel. And we will make sure Israel has what it needs to take care of its citizens, defend itself, and respond to this attack. There's no justification for terrorism. There's no excuse. Hamas does not stand for the Palestinian people's right to dignity and self-determination. Its stated purpose is the annihilation of the state of Israel on the murder of Jewish people. They use Palestinian civilians as human shields. Hamas offers nothing but terror and bloodshed with no regard to who pays the price. The loss of innocent life is heartbreaking. Like every nation in the world, Israel has the right to respond, indeed has a duty to respond to these vicious attacks. I just got off the phone with the third call of Prime Minister Netanyahu, I told him, the United States experience and Israel are experiencing our response to be swift, decisive, and overwhelming. We also discussed how democracies like Israel and the United States are stronger and more secure when we act according to the rule of law. Terrorists pur purposely target civilians and kill them. We uphold the laws of war, the law of war. It matters, there's a difference. Today, Americans across the country are praying for all those families that have been ripped apart. A lot of us know how it feels. It leaves a black hole in your chest when you lose family. Feeling like you're being sucked in. The anger, the pain, the sense of hopelessness. This is what they mean by a human tragedy, an atrocity on an appalling scale. We're going to continue to stand united, supporting the people of Israel who are suffering unspeakable losses and opposing the hatred and violence of terrorism. 
My team has been in near constant communication with our Israeli partners, partners all across the region and the world from the moment this crisis began. We're surging additional military assistance, including ammunition and interceptors, to replenish Iron Dome. We're going to make sure that Israel does not run out of these critical assets to defend its cities and its citizens. My administration has consulted closely with Congress throughout this crisis. When Congress returns, we're going to ask them to take urgent action to fund the national security requirements of our critical partners. This is not about party or politics. This is about the security of our world, the security of the United States of America. We now know that American citizens are among those being held by Hamas. I've directed my team to share intelligence and deploy additional experts from across the United States government to consult with and advise Israeli counterparts on hostage recovery, recovery efforts. Because as president, I have no higher priority than the safety of Americans being held hostage around the world. The United States has also enhanced our military force posture in the region to strengthen our deterrence. The Department of Defense has moved the USS Gerald R. Ford Carrier Strike Group to the Eastern Mediterranean and bolstered our fighter aircraft presence. And we stand ready to move in additional assets as needed. Let me say again, to any country, any organization, anyone thinking of taking advantage of this situation, I have one word, don't, don't. Our hearts may be broken, but our resolve is clear. Yesterday, I also spoke with the leaders of France, Germany, Italy, and UK to discuss the latest developments with our European allies and coordinate our united response. This comes on top of days of steady engagement with partners across the region. We're also taking steps at home. In cities across the United States of America, police departments have stepped up. Security around centers for your Jewish life. The Department of Homeless Security and Federal Bureau of Investigation are working closely with state and local law enforcement and Jewish community partners to identify and disrupt any domestic threat that could emerge in connection with these horrific attacks. This is a moment for the United States to come together, to grieve with those who are mourning. Let's be real clear. There is no place for hate in America. No place for hate. Not against Jews, not against Muslims. Not against anybody. We reject, we reject, what we reject is terrorism. We condemn the indiscriminate evil, just as we've always done. That's what America stands for. You know, just over 50 years ago, I was thinking about this morning, talking to the Secretary of State, the Vice President in my office. And over 50 years ago, as a young senator, I visited Israel for the first time. As a newly elected senator, and I had a long, long trip of meeting with Golda Meir in her office just before the Yom Kippur War. And I guess she could see the consternation on my face as she described what was being faced. They were facing. We walked outside in that, uh, that sort of hallway outside her office to have some photos. She looked at me and all of a sudden said, would you like to have a photograph? And so I got up and followed her out. We are standing there silent, looking at the press. She could tell, I guess, I was concerned. She leaned over and whispered to me. She said, don't worry, Senator Biden. We have a secret weapon here in Israel. My word is what she said. We have no place else to go. We have no place else to go. For 75 years, Israel is the only guarantor of the security of Jewish people around the world. So the atrocities of the past could never happen again. And let there be no doubt, the United States has Israel's back. 
who will make sure the Jewish and Democratic state of Israel can defend itself today, tomorrow, as we always have. It's as simple as that. It's atrocities. And it's sickening. We should with Israel. Let's make no mistake. Thank you. Make no mistake. Wow. Stand against anti-Semitism. As you know, it ain't. You have been as you know, it ain't another war like, like Nazi Germany did. So, if you guys like this video, please make sure you subscribe, drop a like, and comment below, and make sure you also follow me on X and Facebook, and turn on notifications so you never miss a video. See you on the next video soon, everyone.